candidate of pedagogical sciences, professor of the Ablehan Kazakh University of International Relations and World Languages, Petr Gurjanovic Kozlov was born on the 14th of January 1926 in the village of Alexandrovka in Glubakovsky district, which is located in East Kazakhstan region. He was born in a peasant family. In 1940, he graduated from a seven-year school and entered the Uskaminagorsk Pedagogical School, having already firmly decided to become a teacher. His village teacher, Kirill Danilovich Boyarinov, the most educated and respected person in the village, had a great influence on the choice of his life path. Already as a 10-year-old boy, Petr Kozlov, back in 1935, taught village women to write and was thinking about becoming a teacher. However, the war imperiously made its own adjustments to the life of Kozlov. Only in October 1946, Petr Gurjanovich first crossed the threshold of the Almaty Pedagogical Institute of Foreign Languages, which became his destiny. Almost 54 years of his life have been associated with this university. He passed, as they say, all the official steps, from student to vice rector. Under the scientific supervision of Professor Kozlov, more than 35 candidates in master's thesis on methodology and pedagogy have been defended. He has written hundreds of articles and speeches at scientific conferences on the materials of which more than 100 generations of graduate students, undergraduates, teachers of foreign languages have grown up. The bright personality of Kozlov has absorbed all the qualities of a modern scientist, teacher, wise and sympathetic professional, and a teacher researcher who has unstoppable energy. While being a student, Kozlov began his research activity under the guidance of a teacher known at the time in our country, Isaac Yakovlevich Garms. He was interested in questions of history, pedagogy, methodology, as well as theatrical art in works by Kushinsky and Stanislavsky. In 1950, Pyotr Gurjanovich Kozlov entered the graduated school of Kazakh Pedagogical University named after Abai. In 1953, under the guidance of Professor Lemberg, he defended his dissertation on pedagogical work on theatrical performances at school. He published a number of articles on theatrical art and actively worked in the Artistic Council of the Yas Theatre. The second half of the 50s and the beginning of the 60s is a time of fascination with the pedagogy of collective education the ideas of civic education of outstanding teachers. The subject of special interest for Kozlov was the communicative ability and the identification of its main characteristics. The principal position is to solve questions about the content and functional characteristics of the communicative ability as a complex personal individual education. Based on the analysis of the components of the communicative ability, he developed during practical language learning and he distinguished two main features in them. The first one is knowledge, which implies linguistic, social cultural and social linguistic features, and they are defined by the name of the component itself. The second one is a complex set of personal skills that ensure her readiness to communicate in certain areas and situations. They conclude language, speech and proper communicative skills as the core of communicative ability, and they are formed through the solution of a complex of communicative and problematic tasks. The central problem of Kozlov's scientific research in the 80s and 90s is the theoretical development of psychological, didactic, and methodological foundations for the formation of foreign language communicative ability of students, the formation of bilingualism, and the professional training of teachers of foreign languages. This plan publishes a whole series of articles, among which communication conditions for the formation of foreign language ability, 
text as the main communicative unit of the content of teaching foreign language. Functions of text in the teaching foreign language. On the issue of the formation of foreign language communicative ability, methodological aspect of the construction of the theory of teaching and learning, and etc. The scientific and methodological views of Professor Kozlov greatly contributed to the formation of the scientific duration of the department, faculty, and university as a whole. The pedagogical and scientific heritage of Professor Kozlov is not only in his published and 